What if the truth is you're not her best option? She has other guys that can give her the reality that she wants and you cannot accept the fact that you are not her best option and no magic line or magic text is gonna go ahead and make her fall in love with you. It's just not. When I realized that painful truth of what if I'm not the best option, guess what I focus all of my time and attention on? Becoming the best option. Someone on Instagram just asked me, what do I do if a girl's not texting me back? And here's the thing, if a girl's not texting you back and you're constantly looking at it, it's one of the biggest signs of insecurity. The reason why a lot of guys are so afraid to see if the girl texts back or wants to go ahead and reply to her right away is because there is some deep down lack inside where they need the woman's validation to feel okay. Oh, she texts me, I gotta go ahead and respond. Oh, she texts me, I gotta go ahead and respond. Oh, she texts me, I gotta go ahead and respond right away because if I don't respond, then she'll lose interest and she'll find somebody else. It is the biggest sign of insecurity if you're constantly looking at your phone and wondering, did she text me back? Did she text me back? Did she text me back? It's one of the biggest signs that you are not secure in who you are as a man. And one of the biggest signs, if that's the case, if you're worried about if a girl's texting you back or not, or what to do if a girl's texting you back or not, is you literally gotta go ahead and stop focusing on girls and focus on yourself. You need to be so damn busy on becoming the best version of yourself that you actually forget to text a girl back. And if you're worried about if a girl texts you back or not, it just means you're not actively on a mission to improve yourself. And I know this time and time again, because I remember when I was younger, man, when I was younger, I would, I remember one of these girls who said, you know what pisses me off, Mike? This was like maybe in sixth grade or seventh grade. She literally said this. This was a programming installed in my mind when I was younger from some random girl that was just in, in middle school. She was like, you know what pisses me off, Mike? And I was like, what? Uh, when guys don't text back right away. When guys don't text back right away, it pisses me off. And she literally said that. And once she said that, for some reason in my mind, I was like, I'm never gonna be one of these guys. I'm gonna go ahead and text back as fast as possible and I'm always gonna make sure that I'm there and then I'm gonna go ahead and respond. And I'm gonna go ahead and do this. So guess what I did? All of high school, man, every single time I would get, get a girl or, or date a girl, I, I was all, almost had some pride with how fast I would text back. She would literally go ahead and for example, text me and it was almost kind of like one of those chest timers, doop, where the po moment the other person made a move, you would go ahead and make your move really fast and then hit it. Like literally, the text would happen and right when the text was there, I'd already respond, right? Because <laughs> I just thought, well, a girl told me that that's what she doesn't like, so obviously I don't want to go ahead and make her feel bad. So if she feels like th that, then maybe all of the other girls feel like that. So if another girl messages me, I'm going to be the fastest texter backer. I'm going to text that person back so fast, we're going to be like, wow, this Mike guy, he's a good texter. Funny thing enough is all of the guys that weren't answering her as fast as I was, they were all getting the girl. <laughs> they were all getting the girl, and who wasn't? Me, the person that was texting back as fast as possible. Now, where did that come from? It comes from a deep insecurity for validation. It comes from a deep validation from women. It comes from a deep insecurity and a deep thirst where you crave validation from women so much that you don't feel happy about yourself until you get that attaboy or that pat on the back from a woman saying, oh wow, you texted me back, good boy, right? And a lot of it actually stems from your relationship with your mom and your dad, right? Like if you really think about it, when you were growing up, who did you crave validation from the most? Was it your mother or your father, right? Growing up, I realized that I craved a lot of validation from my mom because she was like the most strict. She was the one that was constantly, you know, telling me to go ahead and study and, and, and read and do math. And I was doing like freaking eighth grade math when I was like in fourth grade. She was constantly giving me these workbooks. So obviously, when she was like, oh, you are very smart, son. You are good. I was like, oh, wow motherly validation. But then when I started growing up, I was like, well, I'm not getting motherly validation because now I'm like growing up and now she's always at work. So I crave that validation and other women that I was like talking to and seeing. And what you don't understand is you literally try finding your mother in every single person that you go ahead and date. That's why every single relationship that you look in the past probably looks like the relationship that your mom and dad had because that is what you learned. And remember, you don't fall in love with what is healthy. You fall in love with what is familiar. So I realized that I had this deep, 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 deep need for validation from women. I had a lot of my self-esteem on, on how much a woman would see how cool I am because why? That's, that's where I got my esteem when I was younger. My mom was like, oh, you are very smart, son. Look at how much you are learning. You are studying eighth grade math when you're like in fourth grade, right? And I started realizing that I started looking that in every single woman. And you got to understand this too. You're probably doing the exact same thing as well. If you're looking at the text and you're like, oh my God, did she text me back? 
Did she text me back? Did she text me back? What's your relationship like with your mother? It will show you a lot about yourself. And I realized what I needed to do as a man, if I wanted to go ahead and heal that is number one, I need to number one realize that I'm not trying to look for my mother in every single relationship that I'm talking about. You've already gotten your validation from your mom when you were young. You don't need to go ahead and do that when you're, for example, an adult. But yet there's still men in their 40s that still constantly chase validation from women because they're trying to replace what their mother was to them when they were younger. Really understand that. You are trying to replace what your mother was when you were younger, the validation that she gave you with the random women that you freaking meet, right? And it shows in your text. It shows in, oh, she didn't text me back. Oh, mom didn't message me back. Does she not love me? Does she not love me? Oh, this girl didn't message me back. Does she not love me? I need to be a good boy and I need to respond right away. It's, it's literally sick. It's literally sad. And I only know this because I was like, oh, wow, this is what I learned when I was younger, right? So how do you combat that? Well, this is how I combat that. I just got very, 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 very busy. The thing about women is they're kind of like the cherry on the cake of life. They shouldn't be the main goal. I've, I've literally spent a lot of time like hiring a bunch of dating coaches. I remember going to Vegas for 30 days and just going out every single day sober, just trying to go out and understand female male d dynamics. And I understand that there are months where I would leave Vegas, travel around the world, come back to Vegas, and I would see the exact same guys chasing freaking women. They never made more money. They never got into a better shape. They never had a better network. They were still the weird guys that were waiting by the women's bathroom like a creep, waiting for the girl to come out in Vegas to just, oh, say, hi, 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 can you talk to us? Why? Because we are nothing and we need you to validate us. And it's sad, man. Like most of the guys that chase women in their 20s, they have nothing to show for it. They don't have the money they want. They don't have the body they want. And even in their 30s, they, they, like all that time and energy for what? The only ones that maybe did well is the ones that became dating coaches. Right, because then they could at least monetize it. But for many men, it's, it's just a big black hole of you constantly and never ending seeking validation and approval from women. So what I do, I was like, okay, well, instead of me chasing women, what if I just chose to focus on chasing the best version of myself? What if I just focus on getting in the best shape? What if I focus on just making the most money? What if I just focus on getting the most amazing group of friends? What if I just create such an amazing, compelling reality where the woman wants to be in my reality more so than hers. Because here's the thing, right? If a girl's not texting you back, she probably has other things better going on. She probably is talking to other guys that probably can give her more than you can. And you, you gotta like really dig deep to where it freaking hurts. Maybe the reason why she's not texting you back is you're not the best option. <laughs> And you think that you're going to get this copy and paste line of, oh, I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste this line and send it to her. And then maybe she, this magical line is going to make her fall in love with me. No. What if the truth is you're not her best option? She has other guys that can give her the reality that she wants and you cannot. Accept the fact that you are not her best option and no magic line or magic text is going to go ahead and make her fall in love with you. It's just not. It's literally just not. So when I realize that painful truth of what if I'm not the best option, guess what? I focus all of my time and attention on becoming the best option. There was literally times where I just went celibate and I didn't care about if a girl texted me back or not because I had no time. I was literally focusing on becoming the best version of myself, making more money, traveling around the world, meeting more epic people, creating a reality that is just fun. That's just fun. And if you want to understand, like if you are the source of the fun and joy in many people's lives, they're gonna go ahead and answer your phone call. They're gonna go ahead and respond to your text if you're that person. Many of the times, the reason why girls don't respond to your text, many of the times, the reasons why you're constantly worried about if a girl's gonna go ahead and, for example, validate you with her attention, is because you didn't live such an epic life where the life is giving you that validation. Your reality every single day is giving you that validation. And that's literally what happened to me. Every single time when I see myself slipping, because I see myself slipping all the time, right? It's like, oh wow, this girl's like really pretty. She's giving me attention. Ah, no. Focus on business, 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 focus on building a network, focus on building a network, focus on building a network, focus on traveling, focus on traveling, focus on traveling, focus on fitness, focus on fitness, focus on money, focus on money. And then I forget, oh yeah, there was a cute girl that texted me. Let me go ahead and message her back, right? You have to be so busy where your reality is so epic where she wants to be a part of yours. And that's essentially what happened. When my reality started becoming more and more epic. It was a lot easier to know exactly what to say to girls because I didn't have to say much. All she had to do was look at my Instagram stories. All she had to do was look at the content that I was putting out there. All she had to do was realize that I am a busy man. And any person that spends all of their time texting on the phone, subconsciously what the girl knows is this guy 
doesn't value his time. Because he's spending all of his time texting me when what he should be doing is focused on his purpose. And what women will never tell you is they want a man where their purpose and their mission is above them. Above them. Because she knows subconsciously, they're very intuitive, that if a man is focused on the mission and purpose, he will be able to create a life way better that will eventually also benefit her. But most men, they do it the opposite. They're like, the women are on top. My purpose, my business, my health, my fitness, all of that is below because I crave validation from this woman because mom gave me a lot of validation and I'm not getting that anymore, so I need it from somebody else. Or mom didn't give me as much love when I was younger, so now I need it from other women. It's weird, no matter what happens, the perception that we have from our childhood literally goes ahead and turns into our pain points and challenges in our future, into the present day moment when we're constantly going ahead and chasing girls. And I'm telling you this right now, it doesn't matter what happens if a girl doesn't text you back or not. If you feel anxiety and pressure to go out and text her back and you're not creating an epic reality for yourself for her to get into, you're completely wasting your time. I like thinking if you make less than 20 grand a month, you should not be focusing on women. Understand this, if you make less than 20 grand a month and you're focusing on women, you are wasting your time because the reason why she's not texting you back is you're not her best option. She has other guys that could provide and protect for her way better than you can, that could create a better reality than you can, and you're worried about wondering, oh, what's the magic line to go in and text her back? There is no magic line. Go out there and focus on yourself. And if you literally wanna go ahead and create that time, money, location, freedom that allowed me to go ahead and get to that point, then make sure you sign up for the links below. If you wanna start an e-commerce business, check out the third link. If you wanna join my personal branding mastermind where we're gonna help you go ahead and build your personal brand, book a call with me and my team to see if you go ahead and actually qualify for it. If you wanna know how to create passive income with artificial intelligence, check out the first link in the link below.